Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster and welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong Country 2. We're moving actually pretty well here through the gloomy gulch, so let's head over here to the Kong College and see if uh, Wrinkly is impressed with our progress. I know, they just can't add it all, that's just terrible. I know, just terrible, just terrible. Okay, well let's go ahead and save our game so we can see how we're doing with our progress. Ooh, 62%. Pretty good. 56 creme coins, 25 DK coins. That's good. I like that. All right. Ooh, secret passages. Tell me where those secret passages are. Walls that look solid that contain secret passages. Yeah, but I know that already. But you're not going to tell me where they are, are you? Ugh, okay. Bonus levels. How about that? Each level is between 1 and 3. Yes, I know. Okay, so this is how you're supposed to know to gain your total. You get 1% every time you do, you get a level there. Plus, you get percentages for every other thing, too. Or for other things as well. Okay, area garden, I don't care about that. Let's keep going. Nope, everything's all good so far. I just... I'll tell you what, if you can get rid of those carts for me, that would be incredibly helpful. But for right now, we're going to head down the Parrot Shoot Panic. Parrot? Hmm, I wonder who the Parrot's going to be. Okay. Now, before going on, first thing we want to do is get Diddy in the, or Dixie in the mix. And as soon as you enter the shaft, hold Y and do the helicopter spin. And hang to the left. Because there's the DK coin. Yeah, pretty easy to get in this level. So that's good. Now, Dixie is going to be a huge help in this level. And I'm going to go over that here in just a little bit. Hey, hey, it's Squawks! But he looks a little different. He looks purple. And I didn't have to break him out of a crate up with that okay now here's the deal with this squawks he cannot shoot nuts and he cannot fly all he can do is drop you into the canyon which makes this squawks pretty useless actually so kind of annoying but that's okay we'll make it work okay let's just keep moving here yeah, i didn't have to take out thing but i felt like it so yeah so now the key to this level i think is being able to control how fast you go up and down with squawks. Now, if you hold the up button, he actually moves a little bit slower, and you can descend at a slower rate, which can be helpful. Now, the other thing about this is, uh, if squawks touches one of the zingers, okay, let's see if I can get this coin. I think I can get that coin even with uh, the, because I can't do a team throw on top of while I'm standing on top of the honey, which is stupid, but whatever. Uh, if Squawks or any of your party members touches one of the Zingers, um... Really? Wow! That, I did not mean to do that. Wow, that was pretty rough there. Uh, if Squawks or any member of your team touches one of the Zingers, uh, you go down. So, that can be kind of annoying. I don't even care about the banana token. Just go this way. Okay, now after you pass these set of three Zingers, Hug to the left and hold up as you go forward. And if you push up and left while going this way, make it. There you go. Now we get to this part here. Push X to get off squawks. And now we can go in here to find the token. Very good. Ah, there we go. That's better. Green squawks. And now I can fly and just motor my way up this passage here. And there's the creme coin. Yeah, no problem's there. Good. I like green squawks a lot better. He's much more friendly. He's much more useful than blue squawks. Okay. And there's the no squawk sign. And we get some bananas. Very good. Okay. Let's keep on moving forward. Well, I was going to say Dixie is helpful in this level, but she can't be too helpful with me if she's not with me. But that's okay. Believe me, I'll be getting her back. And we'll put her to good use. Okay, so let's just make our way down. Be very careful here. Because squawks also has a tendency to not move exactly where you want him to. He tends to... Uh, float a little bit. Oh, okay. I guess I was just done with that part. Okay, very good. Alright, and now we have Dixie back. Now, unfortunately, you can't change team members while going up and down the shaft. Let's just hold up here now and move. There you go. Okay, I'm actually making this look a lot easier than it actually is, so that's good. Okay, uh, now what we want to do is... Let's see. Let's... Uh, Um, nah, actually, let's use 
ditty for this part. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm not going to... Oops. Shoot, I should helicopter. That's down. Okay, there you go. I actually, yeah, that's one That's one shaft where you don't have to use them there. Okay, now let's see if I can make it. There we go. Sweet. And up this way. And there we go. Very good. Destroy them all. Oh, wait a minute. There's only one way to do that. Ha-ha! And now we get squawked back. Sweet. Now we get to go whoop some zinger ass. And get revenge on all these zingers that have, uh... Uh, been causing me so much grief uh, before, since I, so I since I wasn't able to fight back. Okay, I say this one's kind of cool. Kind of gives you the TNT barrel to take out the last one. I guess that's fine. No problems there. And it lands us by the end. Uh, by the way, getting the previous bonus room uh, where you had to fly up with squawks causes you to miss the O. So I'm not going to be able to spell Kong this time, but that's okay. All right, now here's why using Dixie is is useful. Now watch this. Once I have some free room, what I'm going to do... Is, well, actually, first I'm going to get Diddy. Let's do that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the X button. And I'm going to go ahead and... Okay, get off squawks. And I'm just going to helicopter spin all the way down. I find this much easier than navigating through with squawks. Because Dixie will go exactly where you want her to go. No, I could have gone that way and get some bananas. Whatever. She'll go exactly where you want her to go. And there's no flyback. And the... Or there's no kickback when you stop moving a direction, and the uh, the you don't have to like the space that you have to move is smaller because you don't have squawks with you. So I think that's I like that much better. That's my preferred way to do it. Okay, click clacks. Oh shoot! Can I get back up there? Dang it. Anyways, I, I missed a something. Uh, if you go up there, actually, let's see if I can get to it. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. And you go up there. Yeah, there's a banana token up there, so that's good. All right, now I'm going to shoot back down that way so I can get myself prepared for this squawks. Okay, so one more time we get to go through this. And same thing, I'm just going to go ahead and do this all the way down. Uh, by the way, what's up with that blue squawks? Like, is he like the older, f fatter cousin? Not so good cousin of the green squawks. Oh, I can't shoot coconuts. He's kind of the runt of the family there. In fact, I'm just going to bypass him. We're just going to keep moving all the way down. And I'm going to make uh, Dixie really dizzy. Okay, I'm just going to have this part. You just stay in the center. Very good. And this one, there's the G if you want it. So I don't care. And stay to the right there. And I think I'm oh, shoot. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to... That's the end of it anyway. Very good. Okay, now I believe... There you go. And that's how you get that one. Yeah! Rocket Dixie Master. Or Diddy Master. Ooh, ha, ha, ha. I wish they'd given them more animations, you know, not instead of just the ghetto blaster and the guitar. So they wouldn't be so bored, but... There you go! I made that look a lot easier than it actually is, believe me. But using the Dixie trick, that's going to help you out a lot. Okay, wow, we've got a lot of areas we can go to today. We can go over to Clubba's Kiosk, which we're not going to worry about. But we can also go to Swanky's Bonus Bonanza. So let's do this here. All right, well, I hope I can win too. Lockjaw's Loot. Okay, let's do it. What is the name of the area? This is the Gloomy Gulch. Uh, how many little wasps at the end of the area giant wasp? Uh, five, I think it was. Yep. Oh, that would be funky. Yeah, I know that one. Woo! A life. Haunted Hall. All right. Uh, that would be the Gusty Glade. Yep. How many swell wasps? Uh, one, two, three, I think it is. Yep. Okay, good. What is the name of the Kremlin Island? Oh. Uh, now, I actually didn't know this. Uh, I had to look this one up. But it's the Crocodile Isle. I actually didn't know that. So, I had to look that up. I don't know how you're supposed to know that. But, there you are. Which of these is not the name of an area you have played? Let's take a look here. Uh, done Crazy Kremlin. Done Crocodile Canyon. We haven't done that one. Swordfish is on guard. How many world map globes are there in the shelves? Uh, two? Oh, whew, okay. I just guessed at that one. I really, I can't remember. All right, very good. Now I nailed that one. And I got six more lives that I'm not really going to need. Okay. All right, Funky's Flights 2. Yeah! Yeah, I definitely want to ride the plane there and 
catch some clouds. So once again, you always want to make sure that you ride the funky flights. And we, can, and we can just check and make sure that everything's good in other parts of the island. But we know it is up to this point, so let's re-enter the gloomy gulch. And it's always a good way to just double check and make sure that everything's good. And everything's all good. So now we can continue on to the web woods. Ooh. Okay. Let's keep forward there. Ooh, so those guys to take out. All right. Now what we want to do is let's throw our way up here. There we go. Take out that thing. Okay. Now I believe there's an enemy here. What the? That guy not, does that guy not plant his sword into the ground? I guess he doesn't. Wow. I, not, I probably can't even hook up just a bit up there. Okay, well, I got the banana token nonetheless. All right, that's good. What? No. Uh. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Okay, very good. Uh, let's see. No. Let's just keep on moving here. All right. Wait, no, wait, what? Ugh. Okay, so let's try this one again. And I want to make sure that I have both members of my party there for this next part. Now, you don't have to do this, but this is just optional. But, you know, you got to show off everything here. Okay, so let's go this way. Take out the little rat there. Now, what I would do is I would take out these two rats before the next part. And actually, what you can do is throw them up here. And if we use this treasure chest, yeah, we get two more lives. Again, not really that useful, but it's better than that. Okay, so let's just helicopter past this part. Ooh, a barrel. Good. Hey! Hey! What are you doing? I want to go past this. Ugh. All right, fine. You're not going to let me do that, are you? Okay, well, let's just helicopter down there, past this part, and you're here. Now, normally, if you just slide down the hill, you can just use the TNT barrel and take out the zinger, but this way works, too. Hey, I recognize that guy. Yeah, now you get control of Squitter, and if you need to get DK, just, you know, go up there and get yourself DK and uh, your partner back, and everything's good. All right. Okay. Now we get to control Squitter. And actually what you can do is if you, and I, and I don't know why I didn't do this earlier, uh, if you push up while, do, while uh, pushing the A button, uh, you can actually, just, and that's much easier to get your webs your web platform spawned in the right place. So other than that, just keep moving forward here with Squitter. And then just go across here. Oops. And also, uh, you need to make sure that you're pushing the direction that you want to go uh, as you release uh, the web there. Okay. Alright. And now let's go this way. That thing out. There you go. Okay. And now we'll go this way. Okay, yeah, we're doing good. And don't be afraid to just take your time and take out all everything that's in your path. Okay, we're doing good. Okay, I bet there's something up there. Oh, whoa! Okay, that, that came out of nowhere. Okay, let's see. Here. Alright, very good. Okay, let's see. Okay, and everything's doing good. Star barrel, and everything's good. Alright, very nice. I want to say that the O is around here somewhere. Did I miss it? Did I miss the O? Okay, hold on a second. Okay. No, the O is coming up. Okay. Sorry, I had to double check my notes there. Make sure that I knew what I was doing there. Okay. This way. Ah, there's the O. Okay, I knew it was around here somewhere. There we go. Yeah, and believe me, things are going to get a lot more difficult as we go forward. And just trust me on that. Okay, let's see. Yeah, go this way. These guys here. Yeah, there we go. Just keep on moving here. And be very careful here. Take your time. Build platforms. And you'll be good to go. And if you ever, and if you ever, oh, nice. 
Uh, if you ever stuck, then you probably need to. There we go. Uh, then you probably need to just build a platform there. Okay, let's see. Yeah, just actually go this way. There. Yeah, okay, I'm actually doing pretty good at this. I think that that guy, uh, that particular cannon enemy, uh, uh, shoots things down at you. Okay, I'm just going to get my in. Alright, very good. Oh, that was nice. Oh, that was dangerous. Okay, these things. Okay, just go down here. And very good. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's keep on moving here. Just take the neckies. Okay. So see that arrow to the left there? That's a sign. Now I believe we want to make our way down this way, if that's correct. Oh wait, no wait. Oh, wait. No, what? Okay, I remember what I have to do now. Okay, we're actually gonna make our way here across the platform. Okay, now remember that banana arrow. What we're gonna do here. Let's go across this way, take out the neckies. Here we go. And now. No. Okay. I remember what I need to do now. I'm gonna go ahead and cross this platform. I'm gonna cross this ledge there. Now don't get any of the bananas so that it will uh, remind remind us what we need to do. Let's just go right this way. Again, just push the A button twice. To create your web there, and then the Y button shoots webs. Okay. Now, he's going to start shooting cannonballs. Now, what you need to do is go to the left and have the cannonball. Uh, and actually, I'm going to go up here and just have the and just follow the cannonball as it goes. Because what that will do, aha! That opens up that room. Yeah, that's a tricky one there. Find the token. Okay, oh boy. Uh-oh. This could be problematic. Ugh. Okay, take two. Let's try that one again. Okay, so fortunately you can jump up there and you're okay. Okay, there we go. So it looks like you can jump on the ceiling and you're okay. You just can't jump on the, uh... On the, uh... There we go. Okay, that's pretty easy. Uh, you just can't jump on the walls below you there, so... Okay, very good. Um, uh, let's see... Alright, now let's make our... Let's build platforms ar uh, around the zingers here. There we go. Now be very careful. Just make your way through. Okay, get around the zinger, and there we go. Very nice. And... Yeah, and I would just, you just gotta quickly. Uh oh. Well, damn it. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Okay, one more time. Let's make our way across here. And, you know, don't be afraid to. You're generally gonna wanna move up in this part, but don't be afraid to. Uh, they also don't want to move up too high so that you get yourself off the screen there. There you go. Okay, now I want, and you definitely do not want to get yourself in the path of a zinger. That'd be kind of annoying. Okay, now make it. Okay, very good. Okay, so you have another left arrow here. Now, before doing anything, you need to go and take out these little jumpy guys here that are ready to make your life miserable. Let's see if I can pick that one off. Okay, very good. Now, I believe there's a cannon enemy up here. There you go. So just wait for him, wait for the cannonball to pass, and thank you. Got the stars. Okay, very good. Wow. Holy crap, that was terrible. Right, let's try that one again. Through. There we go. All right, I'll try that one again. I think I can. I think I can certainly do better than that. Okay, now I gotta move fast here. Okay, let's see. 
Got it. Whew. Nails it. Alright, very good. Get rid of him. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going to go kind of slowly here because I do not want to mess this up since I've been doing so far. Hey, good! I made it to the no squitter sign. And that's where the G is. Very nice. Okay, but we don't have the DK coin. I gotta move kind of fast. Ah, the DK coin moves fast here. So this is a pain in the ass. Okay, just a second. I'm gonna take a second here. Okay, so you've gotta time this exactly right. And pretty much you gotta fire as soon as you gotta get the timing down. And then as soon as the as soon as you think the banana is at the end of its moving sequence, then you fire. Just like that. Nailed it! Yes! Whew! Wow, that was tough. Ooh, but it looks like we are almost getting ready to be done. Okay. Well, there's only one more level left to do, and it's actually pretty short. So let's just go ahead and head up this way to the Creepy Crow. I still don't know how to spell, but that's okay. And now it's... Holy crap! Wait. I already killed... Wait, wait. I already killed this enemy. This is the first boss I defeated at the beginning of the game. It's back, though. Okay. All right, now what you need to do for this boss battle is... Oh, by the way, it's time for a boss battle against the Creepy Crow who's back from the dead. I guess I should put that in there. <laughs> okay, so what you do for that first part is jump or kill the ghost neckies, and then jump on the real necky, uh, which will cause a barrel to appear, appear on one of the three platforms, and then you just hit the crow, and we're good to go. And he escapes up to the upper part of the ship. Then. Okay, now for this part... Eggs are going to be constantly falling on you. And you basically just move out of the way. And I'll show you this here. If you go over here, you just go real slow. Uh, if you need a if you need a DK barrel, there's one over on this side. As soon as you bypass the egg, just go right past. Oh, really? Ugh. Okay. Well, I just made this a lot harder on myself, but that's okay. We'll be fine. Okay. So just do that there. Now, take out that one, jump over that one, which caused the barrel to appear, wait for the crow to run into you, and boom! Then he escapes. Okay, so let's just keep moving up here. Now, this part is tricky. You just need to go. I basically just start... Okay, let's try that one again. Um, you really need Diddy for this part. Okay, now as I mentioned here, you just need to go. So, off we go. He moves a lot faster than Dixie. And you can just motor right through that part if you have Diddy. Okay, now this last part is tricky. One, two, there's five of these guys. Three, four, five. Here comes the real one. Take it out. There's two more. One, two. He'll appear. Fire it up. And that's it. Got him. Woohoo! Yeah! Yeah, Diddy really is the key to winning that part. <laughs> I, it took, I tried to do it like six times with Dixie, and I failed. And I did it one time with Diddy, and it was no problem there. But now we are in K. Rule's Keep. Is this where Donkey Kong is being held? You also wait the next time to find out. So then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter, BCS Buster LP. Check out my blog. Check out my donations page. And as always, take care, y'all. Cross and made it. Whew. Now this last one is tricky. You're gonna f All right, now this last one's tricky too. One, two, there'll be five of these. Three, four, five, kill the real one. Just jump the last two, pick up the barrel, wait for him to run into you, and seriously? Him. 